All right, guys, got a new one for you today. Hot off the presses, it's Sarah Bareilles, the song Brave. And we're going to do all of it. We're going to do the, you know, the beginning of it. We're also going to do... different parts and I'm not even going to show you how to do this so that's kind of a way to put the melody in there for the right hand I'll show you all of that hello I'm Sean Cheek welcome to my easy piano lessons I'm making this part of my piano lessons gone nuts series because a lot of people just put out one tutorial per week you know, and sometimes they're not that great. I do accurate tutorials, and I do about 7 to 10 per day. So check out my channel and all my new lessons. So let's get started here. Uh, we're going to start with F, B flat, and D on the right hand way up high. This is the beginning of the song. Okay, C, C, that's middle C, next C. So F, B flat, D. We're going to do it 16 times. I'm going to play it with 1, 3, 5 with my fingers. 1, 3, 5. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we're going to change to a G minor chord, G, B flat, D. I'm again going to do it 16 times. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now I'm going to change. I'm going to go to an E flat chord, E flat, G, B flat. And I'm going to do it eight times. For the fingering, one, two, four. Some of you might still like one, three, five. I'm going to use one, two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. I'm sorry, eight on that one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Watch that. Sixteen, sixteen. It's only eight on this one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're only going to do eight on this F chord as well. F A C with one, three, five. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you have a little bounce in your wrist so you can put space in between. Staccato. Staccato does not mean to play a note short. It means to put space between the chords. Okay, so think of that. Space in between. Of course, no pedal on that. Now, it does that a couple of times, I think, and then we, we get to something else that sounds like this. which is essentially the same thing, but we're going to add a little bass to it, and we're going to bring the right hand down an octave, okay? We're still, uh, but we're going to change our numbers. You see, for the, for the beginning part, it was 16, 16, 8, 8. We're going to change it now. Now it's going to be 7, 8, 8, 9, okay? Because of the syncopation, we're actually going to jump the gun on the chord to get to the, to the next chord a little bit early. So we're doing the preceding beat, you know, a little bit early to get there. So bop, 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 bop. See how we get it too early? Bop, 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 bop. It jumps the gun a little bit. That's called syncopation. You have that a lot in pop music. Now here's what we're going to do. Let's look at the right hand first. We already know these chords. We're going to jump down an octave. Octave means eight, so we're eight notes down, which means the same letters, but we're in a different register on the piano. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? Huh. See, we have the seven there. Uh, the nine makes up for it, and we, we end up with, with this nice sixteens and eights like we had up here if you do the math on it. But if you don't care about the math, just follow my numbers, all right? Now, on the left hand, watch this. We're going to do octaves really low to beef it up. I'm going to do octaves, not just single notes. If you need to do just single notes, you can do that, okay? All right, I've got a lot of tutorials today, so if I'm doing fast, it's to get them all in. And just pause your video if you need to wait. Okay, if I'm going too fast for you, just hit the pause button. And uh, when you're ready, get back to it. All right, B flat. We're going to go down to F. We're going to hit two times. One, two. And then we're going to go to G and hit it two times. Bum, bum. We're going to go way down to D and hit that two times. One, two. And then up to E flat two times. And then up to G two times. <clears throat> down to F two times. And then just a single A octave there. Bum. So listen to the left hand. And go. Bum. Okay? So that's the left hand. Practice that a little bit by itself. Now here's how you put them together. Watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you come in on six, seven. You play the left hand on the last two of this. Watch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that? 
Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now when I get to G and then this chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, I play the D on the last two of that one, on, on seven and eight. So let me start right here, okay? We're starting right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, as I start this, we're going to count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll play, and I, and I should have been playing these two times, so I, I, uh, I'll do that in a minute. But that one comes in, the point is that it comes in on seven, eight. Seven, eight. And then here, I'm going to you know, just come on right with it. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This comes in on eight, nine. Okay? So I'm going to go super duper slow so you can see this. Okay? Here you go. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you may wonder, Sean, are you thinking of that when you play it? I am not. I'm not counting. I'm feeling the rhythm because I've played so much music after teaching for 23 years and playing professionally for longer than that. It just kind of comes out of me naturally, you know, as, as another language. And that'll happen for you too as long as you play enough stuff and keep practicing. But we have to start somewhere, right? I can't just say, oh, just feel it. I've got to show you uh, and teach you how to get started with this. And then you'll, have, you'll start to see this rhythmic combination in lots of other pop songs. And you'll be able to just start doing it like I do it eventually one day. All right, so let's put it together fast now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, I'm not playing it too. I'm sorry. Let me go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so just for fun, sometimes it's fun to play stuff fast, huh? Now, there's another part that comes up after that. This is the chorus, I believe, where it's a little bit different. We're going to use some of the same chords. We're going to use B flat, E flat, G minor, and F, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. One, two, So it has the same uh, kind of bop, 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 bop as this had in the right hand. So let's look at that first. And this is the, the chorus part. F, B flat, D. Okay. Um, and we're going to do it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we don't have eight because it's going to jump the gun and get to the next chord early. So we go G, B flat, E flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to jump the gun again and get to G, back, G, B, flat, D early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we make up the missing count there at the end, having a nine instead of an eight. Makes up for that missing one there. See, so it all adds up to eights and sixteenths. Music is very mathematical. Okay. Uh, I put the left hand in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven. Happen, you're gonna play the watch this. You play the B flat and then you're gonna go E flat. And you're gonna play the E flat again, E flat, D, G, and then F. So remember that B flat, E flat, and then E flat again. Na, 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 na. Now let's put the left hand with it or the right hand with it. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, I played it on seven, eight. I played the E flat and D on seven, eight. It's bugging me. I'll put it in. I won't be lazy here. Okay. So there's your extra E flat. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's the chorus part, and that repeats as well. See, I'm showing you different sections, okay? This was the uh, the very beginning was the 16 and eights, and then and I show you the second. Here's the third deal with the chorus. Now the next little part um, comes up here at a minute and 36 seconds. I hear something different. 
Okay, and it's this. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. I'm getting my bass from the instrument that's playing the low that serves for the bass guitar. It may not be a bass guitar, but whatever's doing that that low bass, that's where I'm getting it. B flat, G, B flat, G is the left hand. But the right hand has something different. It has this, F, B, flat, D. Again, this is at a minute and 36 seconds in. Use the original album version after you buy it on iTunes to, uh, to help you along with this, okay? <clears throat> Alright, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then F, A, C for four. And B, F, B, flat, D for four. And then G, B, flat, D for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then G, B, flat, E, flat for four. And then back to G, B flat, D for four. Okay, and it's just straight, you know, rhythms there. Let's do it left hand, right hand together. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If you want to play the left hand up an octave, it would kind of lighten it up a little bit, which may be what you want. Yeah, I kind of liked it. So if it were me, I would play the left hand up an octave instead of this low to kind of lighten it up because that's kind of the texture of the song there. And guys, you know, I try to give you exactly the album version, but I also try to arrange it and tweak it a little bit so it'll sound good for you for piano solo at home. That's what I have in mind. I've taught piano lessons to 50 students a week for, for over 20 years, and I arrange things so it's going to sound good for you at home, not just, you know, always exactly what's in the, in the music. You know, I'll try to get that, but if it needs a little more, I'll do that for you. Now, we're not done. <laughs> There's a little more to that section, okay? Uh, after you, you're going to go E flat, G, B flat for eight times, and the left hand goes to E flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then holds, okay? All right, so this is uh, the, the end of that section here that we, we started. I just forgot it went a little bit more. Now, at, uh, at two minutes and 12 seconds, we have something else that sounds like this. Okay, and we'll look at that. Now what I did is I put, you have a cello, and I played lots of instruments, uh, you know, guitar and also string instruments. I took cello in uh, college, and uh, this is what we have right here, is the cello going boom, 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 so I included that. The piano is not doing that, but here's an example where I'm showing you, I'm giving you a little extra so it sounds like the album version. All I hear is, is Sarah doing this, two, three, four, slowly, G, B, flat, D. So these were fast. This is slower, quarter notes, G, B, flat, D, slow, four. And the left hand goes, da, da, da. so that's G, B, flat, D. And if you want to play just what she plays, you can do this. But I think it's cool to put the cello in there. Okay, so we're going to play this together, G, D. Now the second time you play it, you'll come in on the A. E flat, and then the last two times are by themselves for three, four. Let me do it slowly for this part right here. And go. One, two, and three, four. Now let's go faster. Now the cello after that is going to go boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's the B flat F D thing I'm doing here. If you want to do just what piano does, you just put the B flat there and don't play the cello part. But F, B flat, D for four slow ones again. B flat, F, three. If you want to do that again, you play it one. And then you play the second time of this on the D. And then the third and fourth are all by itself. So it's one and two, three, four. Let's go back here and tie it together. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, three, four. The second time it comes back, the cello is really evident on that. The second time, or the, the very first time the cello plays it, you don't really hear it so much, but I went ahead and put it in uh, so we can do it both times. Anyway, so we got this done. Now, now we have this. One, two, three, four, one, two. But the next, second time it's different. It's only one, two, three, one, two, three. So watch that. Four, two, and then it's three, three. They both equal six, but they're divided up differently. F and B flat and D. Left hand on a D. Give me four of those. One, two, three, four. Now give me two of these. G, B flat, E flat. Left hand on an E flat octave. One, two. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two. I'm going 
going one, two, four, and then one, two, five. It makes it kind of a smooth fingering to do. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now we're going to do those same two chords, but do it three and three instead of four and two. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then I have my dot to dot. I use dot to dot because there's a lot of people around the world that watch my lessons that don't speak a word of English. And I use symbols that will be universally understood. They also don't read any piano music or, or music notation in, at all. So I use simple things. Dot to dot means play from this dot to this dot. Okay? So after you finish this, go back and play from this dot to this dot. Da, 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 da. Ba, ba, ba. Then I'm going to do this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So after I do my dot to dot, I'm just going to skip over where I left off and finish. F, B flat, C, left hand on an F. Give me four slows. And then give me eight fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the left hand is still an F down here. Okay, so that happens at two minutes and twelve seconds. And then the rest of it's the same stuff. Um, now I was going to show you this. I can't remember the melody. listen to the song for about a minute to learn it so I'm not remember exactly if I'm getting the melody right here this is something extra that I'm just giving you just for fun okay B flat B B flat C C B flat bum, bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba. It goes over and over again and then you hear it go up high E flat B, B flat D B flat so all I'm doing is just putting that melody in there while I'm doing the, the chords on the left hand I'm gonna do B flat this is extra okay just turn the video off if you don't want to do this part and then we're going to go to a G chord and then we're going to go to an E flat and then we're going to go to an F okay so I put that together I'm going to put another you could do that you could put a sixth with it you can go D, D and B flat up to E and flat and C for that. I'm just adding a harmony note on the bottom to it. I'll do it really super slow and go. messing around. Alright, so uh, something fun to to play. This is one of the, a really good one. I like this one. Some of the pop songs I do are just okay to me, but this one, I like this one.